host of Inside Edition, Deborah Norville, Bobcat Goldthwait. From Sabrina, the Teenage Witch, Caroline Ray. Home Improvements, Debbie Dunning. Writer, comedian, Bruce Valanche. And starring Whoopi Goldberg with Tom Bougeron, your host. All on Hollywood Square. Squares, we have assembled a veritable fashion buffet over here at our massive tic tac toe board. Let's welcome the gang of nine. Hello, stars. And let's also. Hello. Welcome, Mark. <laughs> what are you wearing, Tom? What am I wearing? No, I don't know. Just do the show. Ignore Thank me. you, Bobcat. Let's meet our contestants. Ms. Circle, tell us something about yourself. My name is Suzanne Verrett. I'm a native of Los Angeles, and I'm a nurse at UCLA Medical Center. Right, and it's your birthday today, right? It's my birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Good luck. Mr. X, tell us about yourself. Hi, my name is Larry Jackson. I'm from San Bernardino, California, where I work as a process server. I do part-time karaoke singing, and in the meantime, I play a lot of fun with my 10 year months old. What's time. the market for part time karaoke singers? <laughs> well, you could probably make anywhere from $100 to $500 in contest. Viva Las Vegas! Oh. Okay. Well, good luck to both of you. Here's how we do it. In order to win, you got to get three of these stars in a row either across, up and down, or diagonally. Okay, you Tom. have to decide if the answers are giving or correct. <laughs> I come to depend on you for this. Or they're just making them up. That's how you get the squares. First game is worth $1,000. Who won the toss backstage? All right, Larry, you get to start. I'll start off with Caroline Ray. Caroline Ray from Sabrina, the teenage witch. Aside, um, <laughs> aside from reclining, I, I can't hear you. <laughs> aside from reclining seats, what made the 1950 Nash automobile unique? <laughs> I think Deborah lost something in hers. Um, you're too. She's too young. Stop meowing. I made a boo boo. Math error. Um, <laughs> I, I think um, I think it ran on unleaded gasoline. What was the question? <laughs> I'm going to have to disagree. Oh, it was I the first American car to offer seat belts. <laughs> All right, X gets the square. Okay, Suzanne. I'm going to go with Paula Poundstone. Paula Poundstone. Oh, All right, Paula. Scientifically, Paula. Scientifically, the term half-life is applied to what? I would say me, but why would they have that? <laughs> Half-life. Um, uh, batteries. I disagree. Radioactive substances. Each has Water. its own half-life. Yes, yeah, circle has the square. <laughs> All right, Larry. I'll go with uh, Judd Nelson. Judd Nelson from Suddenly oh. Susan. All right, Judd. Judd, why should, uh, why should women freeze their pantyhose before using them? <laughs> yeah, Judd, so it's I'll easier go. for your tongue to get stuck up against them? <laughs> How hard is it now? <laughs> um, uh, to uh, keep cool on a hot day. I disagree. No, so they'll last longer, actually. X gets the square. <laughs> Things you learn on this show. Suzanne? I'm going to go with Bruce Valanche. Bruce for Valanche for the block. All right, Bruce. Bruce. At a flashpoint. Let me just adjust my pantyhose. Okay, right. okay. okay. All right. At a flashpoint in the Cold War, the U.S. invaded the little island of Grenada. President Reagan said it was to defend U.S. citizens who were studying what? The cha-cha. It's complicated. You have to go to Grenada to do it. <laughs> uh, it was to, <laughs> but <laughs> it was to. Uh, they're, they're there studying uh, medicine, like in that movie, Bad Medicine. They're medical students. I agree. Medicine, yes. Circle gets the square and the block. All right, Larry. Okay, let's go with Whoopi Goldberg, please. Whoopi to block. All right, let's go. decided I wasn't going to do anything. You know, today it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't, wouldn't. Would no. Well, what do you want, Larry? This Nashville woman was famous for always looking for a fellow and wearing a price tag in her hat. Who oh. was she? Caroline? I knew you were going to say me. 
No, I was just going to... No, you know who it is. It's Divine Brown. <laughs> That's okay. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll be waiting a while. <laughs> uh, what was her name? I know. I know you do. <laughs> I'm going to say Dottie West. I disagree. Minnie Pearl. Minnie Pearl. Pearl. X gets Pearl. the square. <laughs> All right, Suzanne. Bill Maher. Bill Maher. All right, Bill from Politically Incorrect. You know what, Suzanne? They're doing sketches on his show. I heard. Yeah. I heard. That's great. Uh, Bill, Walter... <laughs> You're going to be in one of them. <laughs> I bet. And it's going to be the, the guillotine scare. Yeah. <laughs> Walter Hunt is credited with inventing something that women frequently use to keep their clothes on. What did he invent? The headache. <laughs> What was the man's name? Uh, Walter Hunt. Walter Hunt. Um, Don't you do a sketch about him on your show? <laughs> <laughs> the zipper, I'm going to say. The zipper. I agree. The safety pin, oh. actually, the safety pin. Now, Larry, we can't give you this one. You have to earn it yourself. I'll go with Bill Maher for the win. Thought you might. Okay, Bill, another one coming at you. What is the official state song of Kansas? Uh, yes, we have no black people. <laughs> Over the rainbow. I disagree. Home on the range. X gets the square and the win for $1,000. Don't worry, birthday girl. Another $1,000 game coming right up after this. Stay there. Game TV. Square is time to start another thousand dollar game. This one includes a secret square. If either of you pick the secret square and is correct, you will win this. It's top of the line video entertainment with this package worth over three thousand eight hundred dollars. Okay, let's show you folks at home who the secret square is. All right, now you know, Larry, you won the first game. You get to start this one. I'll start this game with Whoopi Goldberg, please. All right, Whoopi. <laughs> Whoopi. What, uh, what U.S. city is nicknamed the hot air balloon capital of the world? Washington? Yeah. <laughs> Washington? <laughs> Should be. Uh, it's actually Albuquerque. I disagree. It's Albuquerque. Larry. Yeah, circle Larry. gets a square. Larry. All right, Suzanne. I'm going to go with Deborah Norville. Deborah Norville. All right, Deborah. According, according to folklore, when a cow lies down, what does it predict is coming? A real good time. <laughs> <laughs> no. Naughty Norville. Naughty Norville. No, it's, it's going to die. <laughs> it lays down in the pasture, gets Girl. a last moo, and that's it. It's going to die. <laughs> it just, it's just predicting rain, actually. A circle gets the I'm square. <laughs> It's going to die. Larry? Debbie Dunning for the block. Debbie Dunning for the block. All right, Deb. Debbie, scientists discovered only 12 of these outside our solar system. What are they? Outside our solar mm -hmm. system? Only 12. Planets. I agree. Planets, yes. X gets the square and the block. All right, I want to you. All right, Suzanne. I'm going to go with Judd Nelson. Judd Nelson. All right, Judd. Judd, what can the number 40 added to the number of cricket chirps you hear within 14 <laughs> seconds? To, this is a difficult math question. Let's, I'll give you this again. What can the number 40 added to the number of cricket chirps you hear within 14 seconds tell you? The temperature. I disagree. Wacky but true. The air temperature. Oh. Yes. X gets the square. Okay, Larry. Okay, let's take uh, Bobcat for the win, please. Bobcat, come run! Come run! Where would you find... Where would you find the characters Bilbo and Frodo Baggins? Where would I find them? Where would you find them? I didn't take them. <laughs> Why do you torture me, <laughs> They were there when I left them. Where would I find Bilbo and 
and Frodo Baggins. Frodo Baggins. Oh, the Baggins brothers. They are a law firm. <laughs> no, I would. Uh, Congress? Uh, Jeff Foxworthy concert? I don't know, Don. You got me crazy. The Hobbit. That's where I'd find those kooky little freaks. <laughs> I'm going to agree. Yeah, and the Lord of the Rings trilogy, yeah. including that one. Sure. X gets the square and the win. You got two thousand dollars now. We've got a two thousand dollar game coming up right after this, Suzanne. So fear not. We'll be right back. Iconic supermodel. All right, welcome back to Hollywood Squares. This next game is worth $2,000. Should we run out of time in this or any other game, you get $500 for every square you have on the board. Whoever has the most cash at the end of the game is the champion, goes on to try for a bonus prize. Paula Poundstone was our secret square last time, and uh, nobody picked her, so we're going to move the prize to another square and show you at home who that is. All right. Good enough. Now you know, Larry, you won the last game. William Conrad. Start this one. Uh, William start off with uh, Caroline Ray, please. Caroline Ray. Okay, Caroline. If, uh, if... I just wanted to tell Larry that I loved him on rock. Okay, sorry, go on. Yeah. If someone is suffering from hypothermia, you should warm them slowly, starting with which part of their body first? It depends on where they took me for dinner. <laughs> I think you should give them a big fat kiss on the mouth and warm their mouth. Breathe air into them. I disagree. Yeah, oh. you, you want to warm their trunk Good. first. See? Yeah, their Good. trunk. I'm X so gets the square. Yeah. A big fat kiss. Please. All right, Suzanne. I'm gonna go with um, Debbie Dunning. Debbie Dunning. All right, Debbie. This uh, this pop star, this pop star once appeared on the A Team, playing the character Cowboy George. Who was this star? Boy George. Mm. I'm gonna disagree with that one. Strange but true. Oh, Boy <laughs> George. Yes. The X gets the square on the A team. Yeah. Yeah, Boy George. Okay, let's go with uh, Judd Nelson. Judd Nelson. All right, Judd. The Canadian loony has been down lately. What is the Canadian loony? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be me. <laughs> Um, the one dollar coin on the front it has the queen on the back it has the loon the bird it's a one dollar silver piece I'm going to agree the Canadian dollar yes X gets the square <laughs> all right Suzanne uh, I'm gonna go with um, Bobcat Bobcat good luck oh secret square <laughs> and you're looking so despondent all right Bobcat secret square question here too Charlie Bird Parker was one of the greatest of the greats. Was he an aviator, musician, or athlete? Uh... <laughs> Don't crack on me. <laughs> I know this one. No, he was a musician. I agree. Father of Bebop Jazz. Yes, indeed. Circle gets the square. The RCA Home Theater Premier Series Projection TV with digital focus and advanced twin tuner picture-in-picture and the RCA VHS-C camcorder. A VCR-compatible five-head video system includes 44 times digital zoom and a three-inch LCD color view screen. This exciting entertainment package is worth $3,898. Okay. Larry, your turn. And Bruce Valanche for the win. Bruce Valanche for the win. All right, Bruce. Television's highest rated syndicated special Sorry, featuring uh, uh, television's highest oh, rated syndicated special featuring Geraldo opening what? Ah, a dark <laughs> secret place. J. Edgar Hoover's lingerie drawer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he masqueraded as Aunt B for years on the end of the Geraldo or J. Edgar Hoover. <laughs> Uh, Geraldo tried to open Al Capone's vault. I'm going to agree. Yes, he did. X gets the square and the win, bringing your total now to $4,000. We're going to press right into another game. 
I guess that's a big old no, we're not. Uh, so, Suzanne, it's your birthday. You've got the try. camcorder, the projection TV, and all that nifty stuff in the secret square. And we'll give you $500 in cash to buy camcorder film. Thank you. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Take care. Larry Jackson, you have $4,000 in cash by my math. You're the champion, All right. sir. All right, when we come back, you can play for a bonus prize, maybe even a brand new car. We'll find out. Stay right there. Congratulations, Larry. This would be a hit at any fair. There's only one rule at the fair. You got to stand out or go home. Like the best woman win. Best woman. Welcome back to Hollywood Squares with our champion, Larry Jackson. During the break, we've been just singing karaoke versions of ABBA's hits. Boy, that's fun, huh, Larry? <laughs> that's a good time. Okay, here's the deal. You've already got $4,000 in cash. Each of our stars has a bonus prize, totaling over $100,000 in prizes, including these. We have an exciting tour to the grand capitals of Europe worth over $11,000 and a Jeep Wrangler worth over $23,000. Okay, all you gotta do is pick a star, get the question right, you got the prize. Easy, easy as that. I'm going with Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi, what are we playing for? Okay, Larry. Okay, honey, it's the Grand Capitals Tour. Okay? okay. So, hope that is something I know. All right. Which of these received the highest Nielsen rating? The last episode of Seinfeld, the last episode of MASH, or the Who Shot JR episode of Dallas? <laughs> Give them to me one All more right. time. Highest Nielsen rating, last episode of Seinfeld, last episode of MASH, or the Who Shot JR episode of Dallas? I'm going to say MASH. I'm going to disagree. It was the last oh. episode of MASH. Oh. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. All right, you know what? We're going to add uh, $2,500 in consolation cash to your table. Yeah, thank you. Bring your total to $6,500. Larry, a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for being thank with you. us. Thank you all. I, uh, you know, ever since, ever since I've met Caroline Ray, one question has been just pounding at my head, and that is, how do your parents deal with your answering machine? <laughs> Really? That's all you've been wanting to ask? Yeah, yeah, well, I thought it was a smooth segue. Um, you know, my parents are both very smart, but they don't understand how the answering machine works. Mm -hmm. When my father leaves me messages on my answering machine, he leaves me these messages. Uh, tell her that her father called. <laughs> <laughs> ask her to call me, please. It's Dr. Ray. It's just pathetic. But anyway, okay. is that all you wanted to That's ask me? That's all I wanted to know. And uh, you, you, months of just wondering about My mother that. sounds like she's trapped in the machine. Yeah. Carol! <laughs> Carol! Are you there? <laughs> Anything else? Go no! Ahead. I think your parents... I'm so happy Larry won, I yes. just want to say. <laughs> and, I, and I think your parents are so happy you shared, too. I bet. And on that note, we'll bid you a fond farewell. See you next time on Hollywood Squares. Take care. Promotional consideration furnished by the following.